friends this sensor i have this is a npn proximity sensor and as you know that from this npn sensor the output signal we get will be negative signal but in the application where i need to use this sensor i need a positive signal from output and i only have this npn sensor so today through this video we are going to learn how npn sensor can be converted into pnp sensor if you want to convert npn sensor into pnp sensor then you have to keep two three things in mind first of all you have to see the sensor you have to operate the sensor how much voltage you need to provide on the data plate of sensor you can see voltage 5 to 40 volt dc it means to operate this sensor we have to provide dc power supply in which voltage must be 5 to 40 volt so this was the first point second point is this sensor you have is of which type i mean your sensor is npn or pnp right now this sensor i have is of npn type after this you have to see whether this sensor is no sensor or nc what is the meaning of no nc listen you must have seen this no push button after pressing this push button output command is generated similarly this no type sensor here when a metal type object comes near to this sensor then in this condition only output command is generated if object is removed from here then output command which was generating here will be stopped similarly if your sensor is of nc type then in this condition you can say your sensor is like a nc push button it means this sensor will always generate output command but when a metal object comes in front of sensor then instantly it will stop generating output command the way in which nc push button work similarly this nc sensor also work okay then let us connect this sensor first with power supply after then we will convert npn into pnp for connection what you have to do these three wires of sensor among these three this brown wire is for positive power supply it means take this wire and dc power supply you have like i told this sensor here to operate this sensor we have to provide dc power supply so for this i am using smps here in this smps at positive terminal connect this brown wire with positive terminal after this this blue wire here take this blue wire to smps and with negative terminal connect this wire so to this sensor we provided positive power supply and negative power supply now from this black wire we will get output signal so we have to connect this wire with a relay you have to use relay of same voltage as the voltage you are providing to operate this sensor to operate this sensor i am giving 24 volt dc power supply so this relay which i am using here will also be operated on 24 volt dc power supply now what you have to do this black wire here with this black wire i am connecting one more wire so that length of wire will be increased now take other end of wire and with coil of this relay connect this wire now to operate this relay we have two terminals one positive terminal and one negative terminal so in this wire we will get negative signal that is why i am connecting this wire with negative terminal 13 number terminal of relay is for negative this is why i am connecting the wire here after this in this relay i will connect positive power supply directly from here i mean i am using one more wire here and i am connecting this wire with 14 number terminal take other end of this wire and in this smps with positive terminal i am connecting this wire i turned on the power supply now take this sensor and when i bring a metal object in front of the sensor i mean through the sensor when a metal object is detected then you will see an output command is generated and this relay here this relay is also operating you can hear this knock knock sound right now room light is on so it may be not visible to you i am turning off the lights so that you can see the indication i turned off the light when i bring metal object in front of sensor then you can see relay is on on removing object relay turned off let's see one more time relay gets operated when metal object brought in front of sensor and when object is removed relay turned off now which type of command you need from this relay that depends on us it means through this relay we can generate positive signal and also negative signal can be generated how it is generated let's understand you have to take one wire here i have this piece of wire take this wire and to this relay here with common terminal of relay connect this wire now take other end of wire 
Where to connect this end depends on what kind of output you want. In output, if you want positive signal, then connect this wire with positive wire. This yellow wire is positive wire. If I want positive signal in output, then I will connect this end with this wire in this way. If I want negative signal here, then I will connect wire with negative terminal. But I need positive signal now, so I connected this with positive wire. Now output command we get will be on NO and NC terminal. If your sensor is of NO type, then in this condition use NO terminal. If your sensor is of NC type, then in this condition use NC contact of this relay. My sensor is of NO type, so I am using NO terminal of this relay. NO terminals are above here. These all are NO terminal. Among these, I will use NO of this contact. So I am connecting this wire here. In this wire here, I will get positive signal. I am checking this once to show you. First of all, I am turning on power supply of SMPS. After turning on power supply of SMPS, if I bring metal object in front of this sensor, this relay will operate. To check this, I am using multimeter here. Now this knob of multimeter, rotate this knob and select DC power supply. I am selecting 200 volt range here because here 24 volt DC power supply I am using. Now among probes of this multimeter, take red probe and connect with this wire. From this wire, I will receive positive signal. That's why I connected this with positive probe. Now take this negative probe and this SMPS with negative terminal connect this probe. You can see it is not showing any voltage right now. It means right now output command is not generating. When I bring a metal part in front of sensor, then you will see output command is generated. And here in this multimeter, you can see right now it is showing 23.8 volt as voltage. It means in this wire, output command is generating. Now it is positive or negative to check this. You can see in this multimeter, there is no negative sign. It means these probes are connected properly. It is receiving a positive signal. If I interchange both these probes, I mean with this wire, if I connect black probe and this red probe is connected with SMPS, then you can see a negative sign is displaying here. If your multimeter is showing value in negative, then in this condition, it is clear that probes are connected in opposite. It means in this wire, we are getting positive signal. Now see again, I connect a red probe with this wire and black probe is connected with SMPS. Now let this sensor detect a metal part. You can see now, no negative sign is displayed. We can say that this brown wire here, I mean this wire, this wire is giving positive signal in output. Now wherever we want to use this positive signal, we can use this. Similarly, if PNP sensor was here, then PNP sensor can also be converted into NPN by using same as this type of relay. Friends, I hope you like this video. Friends, if you like this video, please do like, share and comment on my video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.